would you do if two little men came up to you and started attacking you? I'm Sad, and I saw the Twilight Zone Season 2, Episode 15, The Invaders. It is directed by Douglas Hayes, written by Richard Matheson. And if you haven't seen this episode, I will spoil it for you. This episode starts with following an old woman. She lives in a cabin alone. There seems to be no technology in her house whatsoever. She's just chilling there. I wonder, how is she able to live like this? It doesn't matter. These two little alien dudes appear, and she gets spooked. I would also get spooked. Two alien guys? You need dead. You need to die. You shouldn't be near me. I treat them like bugs because they're small like bugs. So, these two alien guys, you know what they do? Instead of being so nice, like you would someone who could potentially murder you with one step. No, instead, they decide to shoot whatever guns they got. They got mini guns, and they start shooting guns at her. And you know, it's hurting her. That's not good. I would not be shooting this giant lady if I were these two men. No, these two alien dudes. What's interesting about her is that she's like, ugh, you guys are annoying. Uh, she just kills one of them right out the gate. What are you doing disturbing my peace? I was hearing some sounds of invading happening outside and it turns out to be you two Dorfuses dead. And she follows one of the tiny alien dudes up to the roof. Hatchet. All fun and jazz. I'm like, this is just a lovely round of bug extermination. Until, I should also mention, everything up to this point, no dialogue. None. It's all body acting, it's all face acting. And I think because of that, it does a really good job portraying what is happening on screen, just with no voice whatsoever. Being able to use your body to communicate an emotion or a thing that you're going to do, great. It's great. She's like, ugh sucks. I hate this. I hate these little little men, these little dudes, these little alien guys. They suck. But you get all of that. No dialogue. Just body. Just the music. Just the acting. And with all of those elements combined with no dialogue, great storytelling. And then what's even greater storytelling is when she goes up to the ship yeah, there's a ship! Can you believe it? There is a ship, and there's a man speaking. Oh my goodness, the first ounce of dialogue in this episode is this guy be like, Hey, we need your help. We got these big guys. They're coming in and they're destroying everything. We need your help. And you know what the lady does? She just destroys the ship. And she's just like, I don't want to be disturbed. Boom. Gone. These little guys, by the way, humans. Humans. This woman, she's a giant human that evolved on a different planet. So this woman, she just doesn't care about small humanity. She just wants to be left alone. Meanwhile, not pictured on screen, there is a big giant person terrorizing Earth. And this woman doesn't care enough to let them live. She's instead like, well, I'd rather you just leave me alone, and then she just destroys the ship and then continues on with her day. It makes me wonder, what food does she make? I don't see any appliances in her house or in her cabin of any kind. How is she cooking? She could cook with a fire, that's true, but with everything on the outside of the cabin, I don't really see any place to cook. I don't know. This episode just makes me really curious about this giant woman. It also makes me sad for humanity because off screen it's implied that humanity is going extinct right now because of a giant person. <laughs> and this other giant person doesn't care. It's great. It's awesome. Because of that. And also just the performance of this episode is great. And when the dialogue is eventually spoken, 
it has greater impact. I gotta give this episode, it's a solid 7.8 out of 10. If you like this review, watch another one on the platform really likes that, $20 Dinos, patreon.com slash presents. One movie review for one month. Go to this link tree to support the daily grindiness of all the daily movie reviews. So you can go here. And until next time, I'm in Salad Saw. I'll see you later to my salad croutons and bacon bits. Well, I'm going to go crush some ants now. Because I watched this episode and I was like, I want to crush something small. Adios.